<laughs> she's been she's been watching me come out the the door like a hawk. Come down here and check on everybody. <laughs> Good morning everybody. We are at some like seven in the morning. Beautiful bright day. Got my Australian cattle dog with me. Sorry, he's pumpkin, pumpkin pie. <laughs> Pumpkin's doing really well. Woo, it's bright today. Baby's doing great. I have a pile of video that I still need to put up, but as a few people have pointed out, I need a little more rest than I'm getting. So, uh, I haven't got that much. Look at this pretty boy. Hey pal. How's it going? Nah. You're not making any friends with those ears, you know. Make friends with those ears. He's a good boy. Be uh, working a lot more on him this week. He's got a big week coming. <laughs> Right? There. Make friends with those ears. Moving on. Just check everybody out. Make sure everybody's good. You guys are coming along for morning checkup. I've already looked out the windows lots and stuff, but always come down and, uh, like I said before, check fences, check food, check waters. Sometimes they step in them and dump them out and then they've got no water. And what's going on? Hi, Sundance. I don't know how much longer he'll be with us. Not much, less than a month. He's going to pasture. Real pasture, not that. Oh, the horse is going to pasture. Not that one. Pretty sure it's the real one. Um, and, well, let's say hi to Peggy first. Hi, Peggy. Peggy had a bunch of uh, mosquito bites on her the other day. But I've been killing those things off, so. Oh, much better. Piggy, you're all fixed. No bumps. Looking good, girl. Very impressive. So I sprayed the poop out of her with fly spray and, uh, and worked a little harder at getting rid of mosquitoes around here. All but, I don't know how she does this, you know. Mira is such an active horse when it comes to hay bags. There's her hay bag on the ground. See, I put these little cross pieces on here because they flick the bag up and down. And then the, the line comes up. Hi, Mira. What's happening? All right. Anyhow, so, but she still managed to flick her hay bag onto the ground. Okay, good job there, big. What are you guys looking at? Maybe Gordon, a neighbor. I don't see him though. And sadly, today is the last day for the Mustang here. She's going home for a little bit. To, uh... <laughs> hello Mira. Is there something I can help you with? You've cut me off for a reason. I don't know what you're looking at. Anybody else see it? Australian cattle dog, what's going on over there? There's nothing. You're looking at something. I'm yeah. Uh, her last day today. She'll be leaving this morning sometime. I don't know when. Um, so these two lovebirds will be separated. Look at these two. Look at how snuggly close they are. Oh, poor Luke. Well, he's got a new girlfriend coming his way, so. Try to hook him up with Gracie. The horse hooker upper. So, she's done great. I've got a few videos I still need to put up uh, that I haven't had time to do. But I will. It's so peaceful back here. Oh, a horse moved. The birds are. 
I don't know if the camera will fit. Let's see if I can switch the... There. Well. Anyhow, so... The <laughs> Hi! Look at you come closer. See what I mean? She's come a long ways. Hi, Luke. You, you. What? Don't do that. Stay over there. She did really well. I'm so excited to show you guys what she accomplished. Soon. There is definitely something over that way. I don't know what it is. Probably Gordon. Probably the neighbor. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Uh, lots going on. I'll see if I can catch up with at least one thing today to show you what's happening. This was set up for archery. Get back into that soon. And that's about it. Lost my dog. Oh, there he is. Following along nicely. Okay, we're gonna get on with the day. See you guys shortly. Shortly for, for you. I don't know if you guys can see it, but man, the cottonwood is flying around like nobody's business. Like snow, but not snow. Okay, halfway through the day, burned through a couple appointments, got a couple more coming up. Lessons, trimmings, stuff like that. I want to talk hooves soon, I really, really do. But I thought, I mean, I have a pile of little subjects to go through, but somebody had asked me what to do about um, a horse that throws their head. And my simple answer was, if you want them to stop throwing their head, you'll have to give them release. Uh, horses throw their head around because you're, uh, you're a little tight on them, holding them in and stuff. Now, most of the horses here don't do that. I burned that out of them a long time ago. Just kidding. What I do is I just make sure to let them know that um, I'll, I'll give them the release they're looking for, but it has to be done in a, uh, in a proper way. In a proper way, I mean that when I'm asking for something and they go to throw their head, it probably means I didn't release in good enough time because you sort of have to build up. Look here. Ta-da! I mean, this little halter holder. Got a lot of halters lying around. And uh, never had a proper hanger for them. Nope, one more. There. And so I'm going to demonstrate what I mean here with baby. Because baby throws her head. Look here. She might even do it. Just kind of... Here, I'll make a little noise and get her worried. See, she's worried now. I'm going to come a different direction. Nah, she won't do it. Okay, well, she tends to kind of throw her head around a little. If you bug her. And that's just... a lack of release from this distance. But it's all the same. So I gotta figure out where to put you guys for this demo. So hang on. Okay, you guys are on the fence. Get organized before haltering her. Now I'm I've kind of worked it out with her, but I believe I can induce it, show you what I mean, and how to reduce it. Okay, I only need her with me for now to demonstrate how to make this happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put too much pressure on her and I'm not going to release her from my pressure when she expects me to or when she has the ability up until the point that she has the ability to handle it. Right? You ready?
Okay. I hope that showed up. I think it did. So right at the end, right at the end she threw her head. Okay, now I can continue to make this worse. She's already throwing her head. Okay, so she threw her head again and I stopped. I gave up. Oh, we have a visitor, two minutes. Okay, we're back. So, so what happens here, if I put my hand on her nose and I get out before she throws her head, I can fix a problem, which is why it took, I don't know, five or six steps to make it worse. So we'll try again. I'm going to induce the head slinging and make the problem worse. So if I leave her alone at that point, which I have to anyways, then I'll teach her that head slinging is the answer. And then she'll be more head shy. So we'll do it one more time just for demonstration. Okay, so it's really bad. In my, in my books, it's really bad now. So now I have to fix it. So we fix this by observing when the horse is stressing out and they need release. So I'm going to do this in small little steps. That takes time to do this. Come on. Come on. So if we keep at this for a little bit. Come on up. Come on. This way. Good. Another way, no head slinging. Give her a second to think. Uh, every exercise that you want to do with a horse, you have to set it up good from the start. So I want her straight. So I'll push her nose over just a little to where she's straight.
That's a very big change because she set her head up for me to be able to put the most pressure on her backwards instead of having her nose high. I went too far and I knew it. Try again. Come here, pay attention. Can't push them. I'm gonna leave it at that, because that's pretty, pretty good. So there's the way to make it happen and the way to not make it happen and to help it, is to get out while the getting's good and to, to essentially observe when the horse is not putting up with the pressure that you're giving. Uh, so even if you have a goal that say, your starting point here and your goal is here, you might just have to do little tiny in increments to get to here. But this is too much if they're throwing their head. You can't get here. You have to go maybe in the middle. And if that's too much, then go here. But you can build on each tiny little increment that you, that you do. And so finally... <laughs> one more time. Come on. Ready? So you just get something soft and quiet. So that ends that there. Hopefully it helps. Thanks for watching. See you guys again soon.